How is everyone doing today? We're restarting a brand new week vlog. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to hear me because it is windy today. Sunny too at the same time, which is great. Yesterday was just raining and downpouring. So yes, yesterday wasn't a good day, but today at least makes up for a bad day yesterday. So right now I'm just gonna check my propane on my barbecue because uh, I want to grill up some burgers for dinner tonight. So I'm not sure if I have enough propane or I have to go to Food Basics to get more. So we're going to check the propane and uh, start grilling. Everyone is having a fantastic day. Keep staying safe through all this hard times. We all know we're sticking this together and we'll all get through this. Always. My barbecue has one of these gauges that actually says how much propane I have. So I have to check that propane. I definitely need a new barbecue. <laughs> I, that's one thing I have to put on my agenda. I need a new barbecue. Working so far, it did turn on. So I'm not sure how long it will last and how much propane I have. But I'm hoping I do have enough for at least today. And I can always go tomorrow morning, early in the morning, and uh, get a new tank. It doesn't help when it's windy and it's blowing out the flames. So I have to keep an eye on that. I'm hoping to at least grill some burgers. I haven't had a grilled burger on the barbecue in I don't know how long. I think last since last year. Last year in September, I think. A very long time. So I think I need a, a nice grilled burger. With tomatoes, lettuce, uh, mustard, ketchup. Like a Wendy's burger, but at home. They're so good. It's working. Looks like we have enough propane so far. Crossing my fingers just for today at least. Almost done. Rolling burgers smells so good. Starting to feel like spring now. I got my burgers already cooked now. And now I'm gonna be digging in because I am hungry. Not sure if I showed you guys this on the vlog, but we have a TFL air fryer, so I cook some hot dogs. And these actually taste exactly like if you were to cook these on the barbecue. They are amazing. I definitely suggest you guys to invest in an air fryer. You guys will not be disappointed. It'll be my best appliance in the kitchen. Good morning, squad. How is everyone doing today? Today is Sunday, May the 3rd. I didn't vlog yesterday, but today I thought I would start vlogging and picking up the camera. Right now, I'm currently making some French toast for breakfast. Here is my French toast. Looking delicious. Done eating breakfast and just got done doing the dishes. And I'm going to start my day now. I'm not sure what exactly what we're going to be doing, but we're going to start our day. I'm probably going to go for a walk. Yesterday, we went to Paxton Bush for just a little nature walk. And it was really nice. It was really nice, relaxing. So I really enjoyed it. I might bring you guys along with me again. I know I had vlogged last year at Paxton Bush. I'm not sure if I showed you guys all, but I know now they have a bridge so that you can cross the other side of the bush. So that's amazing. So today is my grandmother's birthday. She wanted KFC for dinner. So we thought we'd order some skip the dish KFC, of course. So that's what we're gonna have for dinner. And uh, a few days ago, we had a Boston pizza once again, and I was quite amazed and blown away. It was so good. I had gotten the MVB burger, I think that was what it was called, and oh my god, I have to review 
that on my next review for CB12 reviews. SC about an hour ago. It was really good. Skip the dish. You guys are always amazing. You guys always keep the food warm and hot, and that's always great. Your drivers are amazing, very friendly, uh, polite, and they're always great to deal with. So if you guys still haven't used my five dollar link i'll put that link in the description so you guys can check it out if you guys still haven't used skip the dish use my code it will give you five dollars off your first order i didn't vlog much today i vlogged this morning when i was making french toast after that i went outside to at least vlog for a bit and this afternoon there wasn't much going on so as i said i'm watching 90 day fiance which is hilarious so let me know in the comment section below if you guys watch 90 Day Fiance. 840 right now on a Sunday evening, May the 3rd, and I want some ice cream. I'm actually hungry for ice cream. I'm going to eat some uh, Kit Kat Espresso Explosion, which I had already filmed a review on. So that you'll have to check out once that review will be released. Uh, it will be released within a couple of weeks. I just have almost a full month of reviews already uploaded on CB12 Reviews. So if you guys still haven't checked out CB12 Reviews on YouTube, go and check it out and subscribe. Good morning or good afternoon, squad. How is everyone doing today? Today it is Tuesday, May the 5th. And today I'm going to try my first meal from Macro Foods. I actually showed you guys this on Instagram uh, yesterday when I had went to Macro Foods to pick uh, some of the meals up. I had picked two, and then I picked up three Bang Energies. Those are energy drinks that we don't have in Canada, so I finally got the opportunity to actually buy some. So I got two meals. It's because I just wanted to try them out and see if they're any good. If they are, then I'll definitely go back and get some more. So we got the Chicken Parmesan Bites. What? Uh, yep, chicken parmesan bites, 415 calories, 10 grams of fat, 45 grams of protein, and 35 grams of carbs. So, I can't wait to try this. I also want to show you guys something else that I got today in the mail. Oh yes, you see it? It's sample source. It is finally that time of the year again to open sample source box. Full of samples in here. So, I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to open it with you guys on camera. So let's open this. Here it is, sample source. So let's see what side I'm not gonna open this from. Probably gonna have to put down the camera so I can open this. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll put down the camera and I'll take some of the things out. But a few things. Let's see. Bona hardwood floor cleaner. A bunch of coupons. Ooh, some more coffee. I love coffee. Okay, so. Um, Ooh, chocolate peanut butter bar. Special K. What's this? Ooh, that looks good. Organic mix of grains and legumes. Oh, that's so neat. I never gotten that before. Got a clover leaf bistro bowl. Nice. What's in here? Mexican rice. Contains tuna. Oh, this may not be something for me, but you know, I'll certainly give it to someone in the house that does enjoy that. Okay, got some. What is this? Uh, I'm not even sure what this is. Got a few things I'm not even aware of what what they are. Oh, another Atkins product. This is the peppermint patty. I've actually wanted to try that. I didn't want to buy one. I didn't want to buy a box just in case if I didn't like it. So I'm glad I'm able to uh, get a sample. And of course. OxyClean. You can never go wrong with some OxyClean. So I got a few, quite a few things. I think I got less this time than when I got last time. I think it depends on how fast you can get on their website. But as always, I'll leave all the information to sample source in the description so you guys can check them all out. So this is like one big view of what's going on. I got some granola bars, got some rice, got some tuna in a, in a bowl with some vegetables. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think it's like toothpaste, if I'm correct. I'm not sure if anyone can let me know. That'd be great. We got some OxyClean. got some samples of chocolate Atkins. And of course, I got some more, more coffee. 
So this is a clear view. Oh, and also got some hardwood floor cleaner, which is perfect. And of course, when you get sample source, you get some coupons. So thank you everyone at Sample Source that had put this box together. You guys are amazing. I'm outside. I'm going for a walk to Paxton Bush. Last year I had vlogged in Paxton Bush, but I didn't really show you guys a lot. Uh, the things that I didn't show you guys last year, I'm going to show you guys this year. So last time I went to Paxton Bush was a couple of days ago, and there was a bridge that you could take to go on the other side of the bush. So. I'm going to show you guys the bridge today. Um, I was going to film the macro foods, the uh, chicken parmesan bites, but I was so hungry I just devoured it. It was really good. For a frozen meal, it was pretty delicious. I definitely recommend you guys to go to macro foods and get yourself your meals, your frozen meals. There's like different varieties of meals. I had picked the chicken parmesan bites and the ground sirloin. And I think the ground sirloin has uh, rice and I think broccoli. So I can't wait to try that one because that one sounds good. So I'm going to start walking and I'll see you guys at Paxton Bush. Today is beautiful. Yesterday was on the chilly side, but today really nice it's not too cold but it's not too hot so it's just down in the middle so going for a nice walk like today it really is quite enjoyable i must say yes <laughs> because being cooped up in the house quarantine for all these weeks it tends to get a tad boring we're in a status Maybe it was a couple weeks ago that had said who knew looking at four walls every day could be so boring And with the laughing emoji and a lot of people reacted to that status with laughing emojis as well and It's just hilarious because if you really think about it while quarantine all you are all you're doing is looking at four walls So who knew at looking at four walls? Can be so boring <laughs> And you gotta laugh you gotta laugh you gotta crack a few jokes make a few people laugh and that makes me feel b better knowing the fact that I can make you guys laugh because there's certain things that I do say in the vlogs that are probably just hilarious right a lot of you guys comments every day and leaves me messages letting me know that I make your day by watching the vlogs and that's what I'm here for I'm here to put a smile on you guys face and entertain you guys with my day walking on the path to the bush. This is Paxton Bush. And there's like ducks in the, uh, I don't know, how can you call this? Like a swamp? Not a swamp, but a uh, little mini river. <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, there's like ducks and it's always nice to appreciate nature. You know, through these hard times, you can certainly appreciate nature at its best. Look at that. That's Paxton Bush. So let's see what's ahead of us. Entrance of the bush, O'Neill Nature Preserve, which I'll show you guys the sign. I think I showed you guys this the sign in one of the signs in the park last year, but this is the other sign from the other entrance. So the O'Neill Nature Preserve, convoy for public enjoyment by the O'Neill Group, Joseph P. O'Neill. So. But in my heart, this is always going to be Paxton Bush, regardless. Because this is the bush that I grew up on. You know, I used to come for bike rides. This is always going to be a part 
of me in my memory. So, Paxton Bush it is, always. Even in the titles, it's not O'Neill's Nature Preserve, it's Paxton Bush. So, I'm going to show you guys. I can't really show you guys while the camera's pointing at me, so I'm going to show you guys Paxton Bush a little bit more. So, you can either go this way, and this is a huge bush, so you can either go this way or go this way. And this way is the bridge that I was talking to you guys about. So, I have these nice paths that you can walk. There's the stream. That's what I was about to say. The stream, not the lake. The stream. And you see a duck. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Can you guys see the duck? Over here, so you come through here. And there's also other trails. So there's a trail over here. You pretty much can take a lot of these trails. The bridge that I was mentioning to you guys about. They never had this last year. And you can take this bridge and go on the other side of the bush. They extended the entire bush so there's a lot more things to do. We walked all around, all around here. So I think I'm going to go the other way today. that uh, they never had before is they attached this bag to this tree to make it like a garbage which is good because a lot of people were probably littering in the bush so we're gonna go through this way because last time a few days ago we didn't come through this path so I'll show you guys this part of the bush and I mean this bush is huge so there's a lot of walking space, basically. What? Just from behind me right here. Look, that's all bush. That's all trails you can walk. And as I said, you know, when you're taking a nice nature walk like this, you tend to appreciate nature a lot more, especially through these hard times. And I like going for walks through the bush. Plus it's quiet too quiet nice throughout the bush there's these benches that you guys can sit down if you're getting a bit tired and lately there's been these colored rocks that's been placed all around the bush so all around the bush you'd be able to see different colored rocks I should say walks for a minute different rocks down here I stumbled upon another rock looks like an Easter egg it's so neat to see these nice colored rocks we still have to go through this way and then there's a few paths over here it's quiet nice little nature walk I'm not sure if you guys have been here let me know in the comment section below if you guys have, have ever been on a nature walk in Paxton Bush and over here you see there's a sign trails of Chatham Kent And it says right here, if you go this way, you're at Thornhill Park. 
I'm not sure if you go. Okay, so if you go through this way, you're going to go to Midwood Park. And I think that's the park that I had done a vlog at last year. Over here, another path. And there's like these different paths that will bring you to different places. So as I said before, on that one sign, it will bring you to one park and the other direction will bring you to another park. So you're never really lost in these parks. You just got to follow these paths and eventually you'll find these signs that will direct you to where an exit is. I am heading home after filming a lot in Paxton Bush. So I hope you guys all enjoyed seeing that. I thought I would bring something different to the vlog instead of always me walking around around the neighborhood. I thought I would show you guys something that I used to do when I was a kid. So yeah, we'll all get through this together. As I said before, stay home as much as you can. Uh, go for walks and stay you know a distance from people I keep making these vlogs to brighten up you guys day and I'm here to entertain you guys with the vlogs and the reviews so 9 11 in the evening I'm not sure exactly where I left off with the vlog I vlogged pretty much a lot today I we went to Paxton Bush today and I had showed you guys the sample source box and I had showed you guys the macro foods. Unfortunately, I had showed you, but I didn't show you after it came out of the microwave. Unfortunately, I was just hungry. I wanted to get to Paxton Bush, go for a walk. So I just chowed down my food, which was really good. I highly recommend you guys, if you guys ever come to Chatham or you're in Chatham, go to macro foods. They have really good meals on the go and something that you can easily just pop in the microwave for a few minutes and you got yourself a meal. The chicken was moist, it was delicious, flavorful. The pasta was really good, al dente, with a nice pasta sauce, and then it had some broccoli. So you got your carbs, you got your veggies, and you got your protein. So delicious, I loved it. The only thing that I feel it's tad expensive is the energy drinks. But then again, it's a an American energy drink, which is Bang. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of Bang Energy, but I think it was like $7 because I didn't actually have an actual receipt of breakdowns of each product. Uh, I just roughly estimated because my cost was $41 and I had only grabbed two of those meals and then three energy drinks, which I feel it's a little expensive but then if you're just grabbing meals on the go i mean it's not bad but if you're adding drinks you might be adding your cost up so yeah the bang energies i've tried one of them and i'm going to do a review on the bang energy you'll have to stay tuned for a review on that that will be live on cb12 reviews so if you guys still haven't checked out cb12 reviews and you are a subscriber to the vlog channel go to my review channel and go and subscribe because I post a lot of reviews. I post three times a week, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. Or no, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I have been uploading at three, but I'm going to be changing my time, my upload times to maybe 10 o'clock in the morning or seven o'clock in the evening. It will all depend. So go and subscribe. I filmed a Delicio pizza review earlier this evening so I'll upload that on the review channel so I highly recommend you guys go check my review channel that pizza review will be either up either a week or two from now but stay tuned on Instagram that way I can tell you guys when reviews will be uploaded pull it tonight and I'm just gonna pick up the camera tomorrow which will be Wednesday I think May the 6th so I hope you guys all have a great night and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Welcome back to the vlog, everyone. Today it is Wednesday, May the 6th. Tomorrow is the 7th. And I had came back from Food Basics. I went for my weekly Food Basics run. It was like the first time in about three weeks that I went to Food Basics. So it was, uh, it was really good. I actually picked up a lot of good stuff that were on sale. 
I got some hot dogs. I actually picked up some chips that I'll be reviewing. There were two new ruffled chips, uh, the hot wings, which I think I had done a review on before. I'm not sure, but I know the cheeseburger, they might have not had that before. It might be a two returning flavors, so I'll probably do a comparison video and maybe a video um, on each of them. Maybe I'll do a, a video into two. Maybe? We'll see. We'll see how everything goes. Maybe I'll do a separate video. Maybe I'll do them together. Not sure, but I uh, had gotten a few good sales. Tomorrow's sales, actually. I had looked on Flip, and because that's where I normally use uh, for flyers. I went and checked Flip, and they had some pretty good sales for tomorrow. Uh, one of them was chicken breasts. They were like $4.99, I think, a pound, which is really good in my area, anyways. And there was other things. I also got some non-dairy drumsticks. Definitely going to be doing a review on because a non-dairy drumstick, and it's all plant-based, that sounds delicious. So you guys know I've always been interested in doing plant-based products and I want to bring them to you guys as a reviews so yeah as always if you guys still haven't subscribed to the vlog channel and my review channel for food drinks and product reviews all links will be in the description as always it's very beautiful not so cold not too hot I think it's like 13 degrees right now and uh, I'm enjoying this weather very much because I don't like the weather to being too hot and I don't like it being too cold. It's enough to go for a walk and enjoy the nice fresh air, a nice breeze, nice sunshine. I'm not sure how everyone is doing, but uh, let me know in the comment section below if how you guys are all doing. I'm gonna go inside and start editing the vlog. I have a few days of footage on this camera and I think, I'm not sure, but I'm aiming at maybe a 30 minute vlog for this week. So, who knows, by the end of the whole editing of the vlog, we'll see how long the vlog is. So, I'm going to go inside. I have one review I have to edit, because I have filmed and edited a lot of reviews over the past couple of days. I have over a month of reviews already up on my channel, scheduled for their day. So, I've been very productive filming and editing. You've got to keep yourself busy. One thing I've gotten a lot at Food Basics is a lot of berries. I got some raspberries, some blackberries, some strawberries, and I actually had, I don't know, I'm, I think that's all I have, raspberries, blackberries, oh, I actually have blueberries, oh yeah, right here, right there, got blueberries, raspberries, or raspberries, blackberries, strawberries. Good afternoon, squad, how is everyone doing today? Today it is Saturday, May the 9th, I was going to say March, but today is May the 9th, and there hasn't been much going on today except doing laundry. We're going to have some pasta with some homemade spaghetti sauce. And I did my newspaper this morning. Uh, and then we had Tim Hortons. That's right, Tim Hortons. Got to have Tim Hortons. And if you guys still haven't used my Skip the Dish uh, referral link, I'll put that link in the description. So that will give you $5 off your first order. Oh, well, it's all about saving the money, right? $5, if you can save $5, why not? Please, all links in the description. House is smelling so good. The homemade spaghetti sauce, it is mind boggling. This is my T-Fowl air fryer that I use every day. I recommend you guys, if you guys still haven't gotten an air fryer, pick one up, you'll be thankful that you did. I went to shoppers, just wanted to get milk. I did end up browsing a little bit around the store and I came across two new flavors of candies. One of them is these Maynard's Tropical Swedish Berries. These are not just one flavor now, it's tropical flavors. And of course, I found Sour Patch Kids Crush Fruit Mix Flavor. So this is like Crush flavor Sour Patch Kids. Why not? So I got them both. I am super thankful that I did go to Shoppers because, you know, I wouldn't have found these if I didn't. And I just wanted to go in there to get milk originally, which I did get milk. And because I was going to go to Food Basics, but when we were driving by Food Basics, the lined up was from the door to almost the shopping carts outside. So, no. So I went to shoppers and then as we were driving by food basics about 20 minutes later it kind of got uh, a little slower so the lines wasn't as lined up so i did end up going to 
Food Basics last night. So I went to Food Basics, Dollar Tree, and then Shoppers. So that will set me up good for at least another week and a half, two weeks. So normally I go about every two weeks to the grocery store. A few days ago was my first time I went to the grocery store in over three weeks. So yeah, you know, normally this is not what I would have done like a couple months ago because you guys all know every day I was at the grocery store every single day a couple months ago. Now I'm so used to just going every three weeks. And I think by the time, you know, all of this is, gets a little bit better, I'm still going to be so accustomed to going to the grocery store every three weeks that I'll probably just keep doing that. But who knows? Who knows what time can tell. Today's weather has been very strange. Yesterday was stranger. We got snow yesterday in the month of May. Believe it or not, snow in month of May. And it was getting cold, like almost like winter weather almost. Mother Nature's way of telling us, stay inside. Good afternoon, squad. How is everyone doing today? Today is Monday, May the 11th, and I'm having an ice cap after going through 16 hours intermittent fasting. I got an ice cap. So today is kind of off with the weather. It's like... Last week was really nice, and this week, now it feels like it's winter all over again. <laughs> strange how Mother Nature is bringing us these strange weathers. If you don't know, the app that I use for intermittent fasting, I'll put that link in the description so you guys can check it out for iPhones, and if I can find it for Androids, I'll put that link also will be in the description as well. I had black coffee for like a pick-me-up because I couldn't have anything else uh, beside coffee, black coffee, or water because I was intermittent fasting. So right now I'm treating myself to an ice cap. Really good. I'm outside, I just had to put some recycling and I have to put the garbage at the streets because we have garbage week Wednesdays on my street. And I'm not sure about you guys, but are you guys getting tired of this whole coronavirus? I'm getting real tired of this. It's like, you can't live the life that you used to live. Now, this is what they call the new normal. Like, cars were covered in snow. And I was starting to think, are we in May or are we in January? Because it certainly felt like it was January. It was like snow. Like, we didn't get snow in January as much as what we should have. But now in May, now we're finally getting snow. And even in April, like you guys all seen a few vlogs ago, there was a lot of snow. There was days that had a lot of snow. It's just crazy. We got the coronavirus, and now we're getting snow in months that should be like spring weather. But we're getting winter weather. It's so strange. I'll show you guys in this week's vlog, or maybe next week. Maybe, maybe I'll show you guys in next week's vlog. Because that way it gives you guys at least something to watch or look forward to watch next week. But I had received a package because I had ordered maybe two weeks ago FNX. And it's a fitness company where they, they sell protein powder, um, dietary supplements, things like that. It's almost like 310 but uh, different, different brands. So... They had contacted me through, I think it was through email, and they had asked me if I wanted to be an ambassador for their brand. And of course, you know, like, I was kind of like shocked to see a company had reached out to me and wanting me to be an ambassador to their brand, but I was kind of like flattered. Like, yeah, sure, I'll be an ambassador of your brand. But what they did, because I am an official FNX ambassador, they had given me a code for you guys to get 15% off your first purchase of products. So if you guys use the code chatamboy 12 that'll give you 15% off. And I'll show you guys the products that I had gotten yesterday in next week's vlog. I really don't know what else to really fill in the vlog with, so I'm gonna end the vlog right here. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's vlog. As always, if you guys did, and you guys wanna show your support for this channel, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe as always. Don't forget to turn my post notification on so you never miss a vlog. All my links, my social media will be in the description. So do follow me as always on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for coming vlogs. So until next week, peace out.